up, everybody? This is John and LC. <laughs> 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 hey, first and foremost, we want to thank everybody who's uh, following us on social media, YouTube, Instagram. We want to thank you guys for rocking with us. Uh, I see our um, our families getting big. Our um, you know our subscribers are getting big. We want to thank y'all, man. We don't call y'all subscribers. We call y'all family. Thank y'all for rocking Thanks with for us. Joining us. Instagram also. Thank you guys, man. Um, like I said, comment, comment, comment. You know, we want to hear from you, you know, stuff like that. But today, we want to uh, go back, what? To the year, what was it been, 16 years? The 16, early 2000s. Four, five, six, 16 years ago when we was in high school. That's showing our age a little bit. We're not that old, but we're 16 right. years ago, yeah. me and her was two different people. And so we want to... To, to talk about and laugh at each other about the music that we used to listen to because she was some crazy stuff in high school. And you know me, I was listening to you know gospel music the whole time. You know, Child, praising Jesus. please. <laughs> no, but, but we're going to jump right into it. Um, um, she's going to show you the first song that, or well, you guys are going to hear the first song that um, she used to listen to in high school. And I'm going to laugh my butt off. Why would you laugh your butt off? Because I just... Okay, so, mind you, me and my friends... Oh, yeah, we don't own any of this music. Yeah, you know, we, yeah. No, no copyright, you know, we do, you know, we do have Spotify, so I'm just... We don't... We do pay for that. Well, we don't know how the, uh, how the, uh, stuff goes yet, so, uh, you know, how copyright and stuff go ahead. Like, I'm really ready for you to judge me. Yes. Um, so I used to, I used to be a little, uh, come on, come on, come on, little punk rocker, a little, little emo. Oh my gosh, what is emo? <laughs> he don't even know what, he don't even know what emo is. Uh, okay, so here's one of the songs I would listen to. Here we go. This is Love Me For Me by Ashley Simpson. <laughs> Ashley Simpson. <laughs> so that's something I would listen to and rock out in my car with my friends. Right. A, a black rock and roll. Plunk rock. Listen, me and my friends did not discriminate. Yeah, which is the reason why we didn't talk in high school. This is, Cause, yes, because I was because little, I was a little emo. And I, the, I don't even know what emo is, but I don't even want to know. I, I was uh, in theater. I would have been very embarrassed, um, which... Like, what's she doing there, Ashley Simpson? Like, is she, you know, on the unemployment line? Um, she is anything? actually married to uh, Diana Ross's son. Wow. Yeah, and they came up with some music a couple years ago. She needs to. I don't uh, know if it did really well because they haven't Probably done not doing something like that. So we're going to move on. <laughs> yeah, let's move on. Because, like I said, we don't give y'all long videos. But, hey, we're going to go to my first one, as I said. Um, a lot about the gospel thing, actually. You know, yeah. Uh, yeah. If anybody was listening to gospel, it's me. <laughs> I, I sang on the worship team at church uh, in high school, so when I was so, in punk rock and with okay, my friends, right, we were right, listening right, to gospel right. music. But go this, ahead. This is my, you know, I was a little, you know, thugged out, I guess you can say. And this and, is why uh, we didn't, uh, you know, associate. And this is what I was listening to. Mac Dre, Fizz Dance, like West Side. Hey, everybody back in high school was listening to this. The only time I listen to it is at like homecoming. This isn't something I listen to regularly. Hope y'all can hear this. Alright, 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 alright. Right, right. Everybody, hope y'all, hope y'all can hear that. I hope y'all do. I'll make sure that, I, you know, I'll have some on the screen for y'all. But this dance, Mac Dre, is what we used to rock to. And as I've said, it was everywhere. Matter of fact, it was my freshman year in college, too. So even my sophomore year in college, when I was at Missouri West State University, man, we used to rock it. Still love it. West Side. Like, like I said, I was a little thuggish. A little bit. A little thuggish. A little bit. Okay. 
So, um, someone. Christian thug. <laughs> Christian thug, yeah. Christian thug, yeah. Um, so, another artist that I used to listen to all the time was Stacey Arico. She was actually a Christian artist. And never heard of her. Like, I listened to her in middle school and high school. Um, CCM was like a huge thing. I wasn't allowed to listen to anything that wasn't Christian until I got my own car. Um, but yeah, so here's, here's a, yes, I was very sheltered. Here's a song that me and my friend, uh, Jackie used to play all the time. Shout out to Jackie. Yes, shout out to Jackie. Hope you guys can hear this. So this is one of, uh, this is like from her like second album or something. It's been, it was featured in movies. Oh. Sorry, <laughs> please don't go to sleep. Oh, ever. Stacy Arico. Uh huh. So, is she blessed? No. But she is. She is married to a, a black man now. Oh, uh, but race doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It, yeah, it doesn't matter. It just. It's just, I mean, like I said, if, if we was in high school, I would have been embarrassed. So, um. Anyways, sir, I would have been embarrassed. And this is why we weren't together back then. What do we listen to now? Well, well we listen to Christian music, that's all, but, you know. But Tupac, uh, uh, so my last one uh, of what I used to listen to. I would have never. And so, three, so there are some love songs, you know, I was a little... I was a sucker for love in high school, so there are some love songs. He was he was dating. Life Jennings must be nice, but as I said, I want to induce y'all to my thug side. So, uh, to, uh, and I'm going to show you guys what it really was. My favorite artist, still hanging around with the underground. I get around. That's what I used to listen to. I still rock it. Pastor, nah, hey, hey, I'll be out, hey, I'll be working out, I'll be, you know what I'm saying, make sure nobody looking around, you know, you know, back to getting, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, okay, just, I'm good. Just say a little prayer. I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. So, yes, that's what, what John was listening to in... In high school, yeah. that's what I was listening to as well. Yeah, so uh, now, now our musical taste. I mean, granted, I still listen to that kind of stuff um, for nostalgic purposes, but it's yeah. mostly Christian. Exactly, nostalgic jo purposes. Jo Johnny Slim, I, I listen to them as well. I, I, I ain't gonna lie, when I need to, like, when I need to pick me up, I, I'll put that Tupac back on. You know, like, you know, doing all this. But as I said, man, you know, that was back in the high school days. Clearly, there was different taste. You guys know why we wasn't, but you know, I left. I left. I left that music. I got, I kind of started phasing out. He he left his thugness in the past. Yeah, I kind of started phasing out of the whole pop thing. I'm still a big fan, but but I really don't listen to the new rappers now. Just who would? I mean, it ain't really nobody. So, who would? but like I said, man, you guys comment. Am I too thugged out? Is she too punk rockish? I mean, let you guys, us know what you like to listen to. Let us know what you like to listen to, and we will listen to it together and uh, uh, and review it. Come on now, let us know if you. Hey, I promise I will not be judgmental. I promise I'm trying to expand my horizon now. I try to help him. Hey, help me out. No, introduce me to some new music. But like I said, man, this is John and LC. We thank you guys for uh, staying tuned and and, and following us and subscribing. You know, we consider y'all family, all right? Uh, peace and love.